hi everyone welcome to my channel warm welcome to all my new subscribers don't forget to thumbs up this video one love thumbs up this video please like and please subscribe i appreciate everyone who's watching my videos one love i love that please no negative vibes always positive energy on my channel let's all live in love and peace that's it that's all we gotta do okay this is a quick video um, I hate to report these videos. It makes me very, very sad and upset about what's going on with the crime, allegedly. And disclaimers always on my videos, so my videos will be posted. Um, a Princess Tong woman, right? She was murdered and she was being abused on a regular basis by her boyfriend. She never made a report of domestic violence to the police due to the fear that her boyfriend is going to do something bad to her, allegedly. Relatives said on a, on a daily basis, Karin, Karim always called her, their relatives and this is her sister and, you know, basically telling her she fear for her life. This man is only beating on her when the relatives intervene. Um, basically it's, it's, it's a lot of comments when the relatives intervene, it's always, you know, she, they call the police, the police come, the police say, you know, everything is going to be fine. And basically everything is being dust on the rug. We always know that what's going on with the police in Trinidad when it comes to domestic violence and abuse of women is sometimes, most of the times it's being dust on the rug. They don't answer the phone. It's, it's, it's a lot of, you know back and forth with that you could never get anywhere that's why these men keep getting away with their crimes against women and this needs to stop this needs to stop okay and she was screaming and hollering most of the times the neighbors said they heard her they heard her screaming out loud in the night because the man is constantly beating her up and, and no one is going to do anything you know come neighbor you know do what you have to do sometimes you have to take it into your own hands and do what you have to do but most persons they don't want to get involved because the woman keeps you know she keeps going back and forth with them but i hope this woman is resting in peace you know and i will bring more about this topic because there's a part two to this because it's going to have an autopsy later on this week and you know, just listen to the video they, in detail. They're going to tell you what is going on. This was a, just a quick video. I hope everyone is staying blessed and safe. You know, one love. Stay safe. A 53-year-old woman from Indian Walk, Maruga, Karen Karim, was found dead on Tuesday at her Princess Town apartment by her male companion. She had injuries to her face and chest. Police officers said the man reported that he left her sleeping at around 5 a.m. on Tuesday, but when he returned from work at around 6 p.m., he found her body on the kitchen floor. CDT News spoke to the owner of the apartment. He said Miss Karim had only moved into the apartment on Sunday night. The owner, who is a snow cone vendor, recalled hearing a disturbance in the apartment on Monday night. However, he said it was only when he returned home on Tuesday and saw the police that he found out Miss Karim was killed. We say, where you going? He came back later in the evening and gone down there and bowling. She dead. She died. We killed dead. You know what he's saying? Dead. He made the alarm. Yeah, so the village woke up because they realized. Police said there were no signs of forced entry into the apartment. The male companion is in police custody, assisting with inquiries into the matter. So recalled running to her rescue more times than they can count. The Indian Walk Princess Town mother of two, they say, suffered close to a year of constant abuse by a man she shared a relationship with. And on Tuesday night, her body was found battered and bleeding on the floor of an apartment she moved into just one day before with the man. It happened Monday. Tuesday morning he left normal and gone to work as usual and come back and then make a scene stating like it like if he fine she then now boy when then it wasn't so when the demo arrived the demo pronounced her 
that she didn't die the same day that he said she died. She died since the night before. That the night when the neighbors them was hearing them beating her. And they were all of a sudden they didn't hear no, they didn't hear no song they gave. Probably that the last flash. One neighbor says she heard screams on Monday night, but it was on Tuesday an alarm was raised by a close male relative of the victim. About half past five yesterday evening, I hear screaming downstairs. It's like, oh gosh, Carrie dead, oh gosh, Carrie dead. And I went downstairs, her body was lying on the ground, partly nude. And that was it. Dead. Like her face was bleeding, that was it. Some um, uh, eyes kind of black and blue. At Russo's family home along Ramdani Trace Indian Walk, her sister told reporters, while the victim never made an official report out of fear for her life, the police were called in many times by other relatives. We have been beating her like every day, every other day. We fed up calling the police. And when the police come, they don't really do nothing. They're just talking, telling them wherever, wherever, telling she whatever, whatever, and that's it. They're going. All right. Enough time we step for the one rescue her. And I she run all the house naked as she born. My niece, good thing my niece then was there, that I run and go and give her a dress. Because this man only beating she. You understand? And the thing is, like she was fear for her life because she like she can't leave him then now, boy. Like she afraid. The police report states that a close male relative said he left Russo sleeping on Tuesday morning and went to work in Claxton Bay. And on his return that evening around 5 p.m., he found her dead on the floor. Police say there were no signs of forced entry and the woman's body had injuries to her face and chest area, leading them to speculate she was beaten to death. An autopsy is scheduled for later this week, pending COVID testing, to determine the cause of death. A 53-year-old close male relative has been detained for questioning 